In the world of business, managing finances is crucial to success. One aspect of financial management that deserves attention is working capital. Today, we'll explore what working capital is and why it's important for businesses to effectively manage it. Working capital is the difference between a company's current assets and its current liabilities. In other words, it represents the amount of money a company has available to cover its short term obligations and expense. Working capital is an important metric for assessing a company's financial health. As it provides an indication of the company's ability to meet its short term obligations and fund its day to day operations. A company with positive working capital has more current assets than current liabilities, which means it has enough resources to meet its short term obligations without having to rely on external financing. Conversely, a company with negative working capital has more current liabilities than current assets, which means it may struggle to pay its bills and fund its operations. In this case, the company may need to borrow money or raise capital to cover its short term obligations. In my next video, I will discuss working capital management. I will provide the link in the description. Let's discuss elements included in working capital. The current assets and liabilities used to calculate working capital typically include the following items current assets that can be converted into cash within one year of the balance sheet date, including Cash, combining money in bank accounts and undeposited checks from customers. Marketable securities. Short term investments. A company intends to sell within one year. Accounts receivable. Prepaid expenses, such as insurance premiums. Advance payments on future purchases, etc. Current liabilities are all liabilities that are due within a year of the balance sheet date, including accounts payable. Taxes payable, interest payable on loans, any loan principal that must be paid within a year, deferred revenue, such as advance payments from customers for goods or services not yet delivered, etc. Working capital formula To calculate working capital, subtract a company's current liabilities from its current assets. This means working capital equals to current assets minus current liabilities. For example, Say a company has $10,000 of current assets and $3,000 of current liabilities. The company is therefore said to have $7,000 as working capital. If you find the video helpful, please like the video, that will be helpful for my channel. Now move on to types of working capital. The types of working capital can be categorized as follows. Number 1. Gross working capital. Gross working capital refers to the total current assets of a company, including cash, accounts receivable, inventory, and other short term assets. It represents the company's ability to meet its short term obligations. 2. Net working capital Net working capital is calculated by subtracting current liabilities from current assets. It indicates the company's liquidity position after considering its short term obligations. Positive net working capital indicates that the company has enough current assets to cover its current liabilities. 3. Permanent working capital. Permanent working capital represents the minimum level of investment required in current assets to support the ongoing operations of a company. It includes the funds necessary to maintain minimum levels of inventory, accounts receivable, and cash reserves to meet day to day operational requirements. Number 4. Temporary or Variable Working Capital Temporary working capital refers to the additional working capital needed to meet seasonal fluctuations, unexpected surges in demand, or other temporary requirements. It represents the difference between the peak and base levels of working capital during different business cycles. 5. Positive Working Capital Positive working capital indicates that a company has sufficient current assets to cover its short term obligations. It is a favorable position, as it reflects the company's ability to manage its day to day operations and meet its financial obligations. Number 6. Negative working capital. Negative working capital occurs when a company's current liabilities exceed its current assets. This situation is generally considered unfavorable as it suggests that the company may face difficulty in meeting its short-term obligations. 
In conclusion, working capital is a vital aspect of financial management that businesses must prioritize. By effectively managing working capital, companies can ensure smooth operations, seize growth opportunities, and enhance their financial health. If you want to read it in detail or download the PDF, go through the link in the description. Suggest me any topic, feel free to send it on Instagram or by email, and don't forget to subscribe to Education Leaves.